hi guys so welcome back to our um, JMD uh, tutorial this um, tutorial we will be discussing about how to create your own material widget um, spe specifically um, it is just like the same as the material add-ins wherein we just find a top uh, external libraries out there I mean uh, JS libraries and then we incorporate it we bundle it create our own material add-ins this one uh, if I want to incorporate this spin kit into my custom widget I mean as a plugin widget into my web application you can do that so today it will be the uh, day you will be learning about that so okay so first thing you need to know uh, to do is to find out uh, which is the best uh, widget that um, you're looking for and the next thing is um, does this widget support CSS only CSS or it, uh, it, it support also a JavaScript or jQuery instance so third thing is uh, you must look for the license so for this I think the license for this is MIT so as you can see there so it was an MIT license so meaning you can just grab it and then use it in your web application third thing is um, uh, Third thing is the web browser compatibility. If it's compatible with other, uh, with the uh, modern and the old browsers, so that should be um, a guaranteed uh, fallback also. And then um, you have next. Uh, the last thing is you need to make sure that um, this project is um, maintainable. I mean, um, it keeps it keeps an update um, recently so okay it's not a dead project so that's all the information that I can give it to you so let's start it off so first thing is um, this uh, specific um, add-ins that I'm incorporating into is just using a CSS without a JavaScript library so maybe we can just make another kind of video tutorial on the next part of this uh, series wherein we can just make use also a jQuery instance or a JavaScript instance wherein we can just JSON drop it okay right now it's just a pretty simple um, add-ins let's start it off on the spinner I'll call it the same name as they have so we have also a spin kit here spin kit okay first you need to extend the spin kit to material widget and then create an empty constructor which calls the super class and uh, define what element you need to create for example we have create div element anchor element uh, label element area element and so on so let's create this as a div element because you have this uh, div um, tag there and also we need to provide the class name here we provided there's a second parameter a array of initial classes so I call it uh, escape plane okay okay and this one pretty simple uh, that's how you define the widget and then next part is how you include the resource file so on the resource file um, I think um, it's either D DIST or distribution so they have a provided a list or it should be on the parent I mean on the root directory which is this one you can just copy the CSS file that's the location and then click the row after that you can just right click into this file and spin kit that CSS okay okay so you have that the CSS file right there and then what you just need to do is create a static instance and then here uh, call material design base that inject CSS you have inject CSS you, you can also inject <coughs> a JavaScript resources or a debug so right now we're just injecting it as a CSS resource oh we forget um, the resources defined so on the app resources and right here just annotate it with um, just to find out the CSS uh, spin kit that CSS and on the text resource okay okay so you have that yep one tip here is um if you <coughs> because this is a string parameter so um you can just uh, click control and then highlight on IntelliJ so that um it means if you have this highlighted in blue or linkable uh they have a linkable style then it should be 
uh, locatable so you can locate it but if you have for example a typo so once you hover it it doesn't do anything so you, ju you just remove it and then that's the thing that's the time you can just um, navigate so it means it's correct and um, here you can just call up resources that instance that spin kit CSS so that's how you do it so you have the um, the what they call this the DOM <coughs> uh, created and also you have also that CSS um, injected and let's try it out onto this instead of this so you can create your own custom for example and take note you can create also a another sub module project for example your company that add-ins that gmd that add-ins so that you create this <coughs> instead of just incorporating it into your own um, web application um, instance okay so for example you have custom there um, just create just copy the just copy this package name right and okay so you have that package name in here on the UI binder so you can just call uh, spin kit you see that so you have the spin kit right there into that so it's a it's now a material widget that's easy at it is it's just a uh, I like UI binder instead of just um, adding it into a Java Java instance because UI binder um, is the uh, boilerplates of having a multiple nested Java um, return types so uh, I'm not I'm not uh, a good fan of it so uh, I'm a good fan of how they did on Android where they can just create an XML file and then make use of it um, into a Java um, composite or something like that yep so you have the spin kit so going back to our spin kit spin kit so right here so it's just a single instance and then you can do whatever you want here set border uh, set style names yeah so it's a lot of um, um, useful properties on material widget okay now um, <clears throat> let's refresh the page now yeah so you see that we have the flipping effect right there right you have that and then let's check the um, okay so you have that so you have also the the, the ability to to what it is to change the theme and also a uh, good thing is we extend it into material widget then you can just do um, background color um, for example I will just make use of white right and then let's check it out right see that so you have your custom widget and then not only that so what we can do also is um, uh, we can just uh, make this more um, exciting I mean yeah so I we have um, you can just create a spin kit type right and then this one um, extends to CSS type right and then right here uh, implement sorry um, enum I think this, this should be an enum so that should be an enum okay and then right here um, instead of just doing a single instance each of the types uh, you can just make use of um, for example plain right so let, let's try to two things so three things okay chase uh, we have also plain right here and we have chase bounds okay so let's create those bounds maybe let's let's try to add the uh, yeah bounds instead of chase let's try bounds i will not do it i will not do um all of this i'm um, just to pick up um, the ecs one and then I, I let you do the remaining part of this so you have also your bounds your pulse okay and then just create the uh, string name and then add a constructor right and right here uh, we have an enum helper I think enum helper from CSS style name oh no yeah let, let's just return the name sorry okay so you have that and then this one uh, we, can, we, we just need to define it here uh, implements has type I think has type and then you just add that and you have the setter getter created 
okay and right here instead of just doing uh, the manual adding the style name or something like that um, what we can just do is um, okay circle oh wait I think uh, we need to add the uh, escape pulse there escape suffix into our spin type okay so you have that and then what we can just do is okay so remove this now so it doesn't uh, it will support multiple types now and what you can just do is create um, a CSS type mixing so we have a mixing into that you provided the spin kit and also the spin kit type right and then oh wait type parameter should oh I think it was yeah so you have that so you, you create a lazy um, lazy creation of the CSS type mixing so if is equal to null then what you can just do is um, uh, create an instance okay and then add this okay and then right here on the get so get css that get type and then right here get css that set type spin type okay so you have those added so let's check uh primarily check the the class names so if we have right here um created a type for example let's add a type of um what available types are there oh sorry um uh we have um bounce for example right so we have bounce okay so if we refresh the page now so you have that there so let's check um escape bounce okay so you have incorporated right there but we don't uh, define it yet the child so it should be another task wherein we can just define the child okay and then um, let's try the pulse um, pulse so that's the next thing is to define the so you have that okay okay so let's define the another type which is um, if the type is bounce then we need to add the separate um, two divs which has this bounce dot something okay and what we can just do is on the spin kit on the set type on load upon on load so we need to check the type if type um, if get type that equals um, uh, what's that bounce then we need to add um, we need to add add to um, divs right else we need to clear okay so what we can just do is to um, for loop so it depends on how many um, okay so add zero um, less than two oh I forgot that I and then I plus plus and then let's just create a new material panel and then uh, we can just add this tiny uh, set tiny and then we can just copy this scale that okay then just add that okay and what we can just do is um yeah Oh yeah, I uh, just disregard this. Um, uh, w w what I'm just doing that is I will just disable inspection inspection because it's just a uh, what is this a CSS uh, style name. So I think for the GSS it does that, but um for regular it should be not doing that. Okay, and then what we can just do is we can just add the panel, right? So what it does it creates two elements just so just let's just check so if zero increments zero and one so it should do and create this panel okay that's how it does so let, let's refresh the page now so I think um it should clear at the first one so let's do that so it should clear upon loading so that uh, if we navigate the 
element twice it we call the on load twice so what it does it creates four because it doesn't clear so we need to make sure it clears every time we appended the panel so let's refresh the page oh we forgot to set the type to be bounce okay so you have that so you have the bounce effect right there and let's convert it back to um, what's the other one? Pulse. Okay, so that's how you do it. So it's just simple, um, a simple way to create your own add-ins widget. First, you need to um, define the um, the layout. I mean, the DOM creation of the of your widget, extend to material widget, um, and then um, add the resources right and then after your other sources um, if you have types onto this widget just implement has type and then we have created the CSS type mixing and after that uh, we just need to define the uh, additional um, additional layouts into the project okay I hope you enjoy this tutorial so let's uh, discuss um, an another tutorial which includes uh, JavaScript and jQuery goodbye